hey guys welcome back to the fourth part of the freelancing course tutorial so in this fourth part of the course i'm going to show you exactly how to apply for jobs on upwork now in the previous part of the videos i of the tutorial sorry i've showed you how to register on the platform how to create a profile on the platform and how to write the perfect bio description for your upwork profile now let me quickly show you how to edit your profile so that you can copy and paste in the bio description that you have already written down. Now, once you log into Upwork, it's going to take you into a dashboard like this. That is your own personal job dashboard, right? So on the left, oh, sorry, on the right, you're going to see your picture. Like you see mine right here. Click on the picture. Great. So once it's downloading, you're going to see your profile, all the parts, the different parts of your profile. You're going to see your picture, your name, your bio description, the title. So to edit any part of your profile, just click on the pen tool beside that section. So this is my bio description. To edit the bio description, click on the pen tool. And right now you can just select everything delete it and then copy your bio description wherever you wrote it and paste it down here and then click save so that is how you can edit your bio description you can edit your pricing the same way your title the same way you can edit all the sections in your profile great so let's go back to what we have to do today okay now in this section of the course i'm going to show you how to apply for jobs I'm going to show you how to find and apply to the right jobs and work for the right clients. I'm going to explain to you how to use Upwork Connects to apply for jobs because on Upwork, you can only apply to a limited number of jobs per month on the platform. Finally, I'm also going to submit a job proposal live with you so you'll see how I write a cover letter each time I'm submitting a job proposal. I'm going to walk you through the steps on what you need to write a cover letter when you are trying to get a new job. And of course, I'll show you exactly what works for me. Okay, so let's go and see how to search for jobs. So immediately you log into Upwork, you're going to land on your own job dashboard like so. And right now you're going to see your jobs, the, you're going to see jobs you might like. You're going to see the best matches. Upwork is going to uh, show you some different jobs that matches your skill sets. That is a skill set that you have listed. And you can just go down and you look at the jobs, choose the one that best fits what you can do, and you can start applying. You can also go, you, you can also see the most recent jobs. Click on the most recent jobs, and you're going to see all of the jobs that are that have been posted. So this one have been posted. 11 minutes ago and you can just go through the jobs and choose the one that you want you can also save a job so that you can come later on and apply for that job but i don't necessarily use this part i just this one this was a mistake i just saved three but it was a mistake so i don't necessarily use it for beginners i don't think it's even that necessary once you see a job the best way to do it the, the best option is to just apply for the job Okay, now, so these are the jobs that Upwork has suggested to you. So these are the best matches, the most recent jobs, and based on its particular skill set. So, but you can also go ahead and search in depth and search for the type of jobs that you want. Now, to search for a job, you can come here on the search icon. Click on that search icon. Once you click on the icon, Upwork is going to show you what jobs are available for you. So you can see there are 174,000 jobs available. You can just go through all of the jobs. So for example, this one is looking for senior WordPress developer, Flutter dev required, WordPress expert, SEO. Basically, you're going to see so many different jobs. So on Upwork, there are so many different types of jobs available for different skill sets. So that means even if at first you applied on Upwork as a transcriber and later on you see jobs that you can do, for example, let's say you see video editing jobs that you know you can do 
you can always go ahead and adjust your profile at any time by adding your video editing skills or your bio description or you can just go ahead and edit the title and write something like transcriber and video editor and then add in your skill your video editing skill in the bio description so so now to search for jobs on the platform the specific jobs that you want you can click on the search for jobs um this box here and you can just type in a keyword so let's say our keyword is transcription great so once you click the enter button you'll be able to see they have 4,000 jobs, transcription jobs available. So you can see transcribe videos into text and screenshots, screenshot the, 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 the I think transcribe videos into text and then screenshot the, the text, right? And this job was posted two hours ago. And you can already see how many uh, proposals. These are the proposals means these are the number of people that have applied for the job. You can see the skill level that they want for the transcriber, which is intermediate. So they need, sorry, they need someone who is intermediate, who is not just uh, maybe an entry level, but who knows, is not really an expert, but intermediate in the middle somehow. And this job is going to take uh, more than six months and they need someone who can work for 30 plus hours a week. So, and they already have, I think the, they did not put the amount that they're supposed to pay but whatever the case so you can scroll down you can see the typing jobs retyping data entry so these are transcription jobs that are available on the platform now once you look at each job for example this one the first one let's look at the first one so this one needs an intermediate skilled freelancer this one needs an entry-level skilled freelancer which is you this one is entry level. This one is entry level intermediate. There are some that you see experts. I don't know if it's here. Okay, so this one needs experts, freelancers. Now we want to make sure we are applying for the right kind of, kind of job that we know we would have a better chance of getting hired as a new freelancer. So this is where you can start filtering through the job so that you have only the entry level jobs that you you can apply to and so that you have a higher chance of getting hired for the job. So this is where the filter option on the left come in. So you can filter jobs by their categories, by experience level, um, by the job type, by the price, by number of proposals. That is the number of people have, who have applied for the job, clients info, the client history, client's location, project length, how long the job is going to take, the hours that is needed for that job per week, to do the job per week. So let's start with the first one. So we can filter job by category. You can just click here and choose the category. Probably you are in data entry and transcription. So that is your category. Okay, next is the experience level. So this is where you can choose your um, the type of jobs that you want to do. That is the experience level that is needed for that type of job. So you can click on entry level or intermediate or expert level, depending on your level of experience in that particular um, in that particular skill set. So, but because you are just beginning on the platform, I will always advise you click on entry level because uh, it's just you are just new to freelancing. So even if you are an intermediate, I'll advise you to click on entry level because remember the first, the, the most important thing for new freelancers is to get clients so that you can build your portfolio, you can build your, um, you can get good reviews on your profile so that you can gain more and more clients in the long run. Now we're going to click entry level. And you can see by the side, the total number of entry level jobs available so we have 1546 jobs available for transcription great okay next is a job type so is this job going to be paid per hour or per minute or per, i don't know but so this is where you can decide if you want the job to be uh, if you want to choose a job that's going to be paid per hour so click on hourly so you're going to see 682 jobs available let's go to the next one
okay next is a fixed price so you can filter through the jobs that will pay you um the jobs that have, have a fixed price that pays less than 100 dollars or the jobs that will pay you from 100 to 500 dollars at least from 100 to 500 dollars as a fixed price so right here you can select the job so as you can see there's no job available right now so you're going to see the small is in brackets right now you're going to see if i choose this one there will be no job available oh there are still jobs available i don't know why the wrote zero but okay it was still loading so you see so this is for entry level positions i always like i always require you uh i always advise you to look for a job that does not pay that much for the start because you're just starting and you need to get clients so we're looking for a job that will have a higher chance of getting hired so as an entry level transcriber so next is the number of proposals so these are the number of people who have applied for the jobs for the job that have been posted already so you can filter through this category choose the jobs that have that uh, you can choose the jobs that not much people have already applied to the job so we can click on less than five right because if you go and if you go and try to apply to jobs that uh to jobs where you see more than 20 or 50 people who have already applied to that job the truth is you not have much you not have a higher chance of getting hired because your application letter or your uh, job proposal is not going to, the, the, the clients will not be able to see the job proposal imagine 50 different people or more than 50 people have already applied to the job and you are coming there as the number maybe 100 so there's a higher chance that you will not be able to the, the clients will not be able to see your proposal so let's leave it at less than five the next is the client info so that's where you can filter through the um, type of clients that you want to work with. So for example, this, the first one is my previous client. So if you have worked with, if you have already worked with a client before and you want to see if, the, if that client has pasted a job on the platform and maybe you want to, so that you too can apply to that job, then you can click on my previous client and you're going to see the jobs available right here but if you have not worked with any client before click payment verified but i always i always um advise you to click payment verified or you can click the, the two of them if you have already worked with the client and you want to be sure or you want to see if that client have already pasted posted a job on the platform so that you can apply to that job now once you click on payment verified you're going to see the jobs that's um have payments verified uh the clients that are they they have this blue tick which says payment verified it basically means that these are clients who have a history of working with freelancers already they have they have a history of hiring freelancers on the platform and paying them so that is why it's called payment verified they have paid freelancers on the platform so there are jobs that you there are some jobs that you see payments on verified it simply means these are uh, clients who are basically new to the platform they have never paid if any freelance on the platform maybe there is just that they are, they are first time uh getting on the platform posting out jobs on the platform so that they can start working with freelancers so that's basically what it means then we come down to the next one which is say which says client history now this is where you can filter through the type of clients that you want you want to work with clients that have never hired anyone before you can click here and you're going to see it says one one job available right so this is the only job that is available i was posted two hours ago from kenya right microsoft office expert and transcriptionist needed next is the um you can if you like you can choose clients that have hired probably one to who have worked with uh who, who have a history of hiring who, who have hired sorry who have hired one to nine freelancers on the platform before or 10 plus so you can leave it within these two just tick the two boxes it's okay next is the client's location so next i always like to use this location. one like this. So this is where you can choose the location where the client is from so if you want to work with someone who is in uh in america maybe your clients you want to work with only clients from america from canada wherever you want to 
you can choose here just click and you select the country but i just like to leave this one open because we are new to the platform right next is the project project length how long do you this is where you can select how long um probably the job is going to last so there are some jobs that's going to last for one month less than one month some will last from one to three months so you can select from the category so we can just click this if is your if you're doing this as a part-time job then you can click maybe just leave one to three months something like that the next is hours per week so you can decide um these are jobs that you can select the type of jobs that uh, you want right here that is a job that will last 30 hours uh, that will need you to work 30 hours per week, uh, less than 30 hours per week or more than 30 hours per week. So there are some jobs that, of course, will need you to work 30 hours per week. So we can just select. You can click on them. Which one? You can just click the two of them. Remember, you're new to the platform, so you need to try and make yourself available so that you can get clients, so that you can build your uh, um you can you can get good reviews as fast as possible on the platform so that you can start getting more and more clients so after you have done the filter through what you want the type of jobs that you want then you're going to see the total number of jobs that is available for your particular um, category that you have chosen now you can see seven jobs available now this is where you can just scroll down and you can start looking for the job so this one says native Japanese for transcription work. So you are not qualified for this. So they need a Japanese transcriptionist. Someone who can understand Japanese language. Next, Microsoft Office expert and transcriptionist needed. So this one is also great. You can go to the next one. This is a job that you can do. Flemish recording collection needed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are working on Flemish pronunciation. So this is a, I don't know. This is a language that I don't know. So that is not good so the tax is very simple as long as you can read flemish nope we don't know that one dutch recording collection needed belgium only nope japanese transcription work nope urgent needed gamis to english translator nope ten dollars to make six calls each less than so these are calls ja german speakers nope so these are different different languages so so the only one that we can look at is this one right okay so now let's go to how to apply for the job so once you see a job you like and you want to apply for that job it is time to apply for the job once you click the job click on the job great it's going to take you right here where you can apply for the job so how do you apply for the job to apply uh, to any job on Upwork, you need what is called connects. Right now, this is what is, these are the connects, right? Send a proposal for two connects. Now, what are connects? Connects are basically Upwork currency. To apply to any job on Upwork, you need a virtual currency, which is in this case is connects. Every single job you see on Upwork, there are a certain number of connects you need, you, you have to use or spend in order to apply for that job. It is what will allow you to apply for a job on Upwork. Now, how do you get connect? Now, immediately you register on Upwork and you create a profile on Upwork. Upwork is going to give you a total of 40 free connects that you can use, right? And if you go and take a... Let me just go back quickly to Upwork so you see what I'm talking about. Okay, so how do you get connects? So um, let's just run through the process on how you can get connects on Upwork. Now, just like I said, once you register on the platform, you create a profile on the platform, Upwork is going to give you 40 free connects so that you can start applying for jobs and eventually help you get your first clients. Now, to get another free connect, click come here where it says find work and go to Upwork readiness test. Great. As you can see, I've not taken the Upwork readiness test because this is a new profile. Now click on start test. Once you click on start test, it's going to take you where you can take 
a test so once you take this test and you pass the test up is going to give you another 40 free connects and adding to your 40 free connects you're going to have a total of 80 free connects once you get onto the platform so that is how you can get uh connects as you can see i have 142 available connects right now because i've not been using it to apply on the platform lately i've been a bit busy but you can see this um, the total number of connects that are here so you're going to see yours is going to be 80 free con uh, 80 available connects great so once you have your connects you can start applying for jobs again the upwork has now upwork has a free plan and a paid plan when you join upwork you are automatically on their free plan meaning every month on upwork you will get 10 free connect every month when you join, as you join upwork you are going to get 10 free connect but when you're on their paid plan you're going to be getting 80 free connect every month but the truth is when you're just starting out you don't want to join the paid plan i'm not on their paid plan as well so i'm on their free plan so every month you get a total of 10 free connects that can you can use to apply for jobs so i'm going to show you another way how you can get free connects or how you can multiply your connects like this so all these connectors you see right here they are free connects that i have and I'm going to show you later on. I'm going to tell you later on how you can add, add your connect. So let's go back to our to our job. Okay, so now that we know what connects are, so just like I said, to apply on up to any job on Upwork, you need connects. So as you can see, this one says send a proposal for two connects. So let's say you have a total of 80 connects and you want to send a proposal. That means once you um, submit a proposal for this job, it's going to take out two connects out of your 80 connects. Now, so how does connects actually work? So let's say a job is posted and you want to apply. When you go to the job to apply, you will see you'll be required to use your connects just like this one, right? There are jobs that need just two connects to apply why there are some that will need six or more connects so it depends on on um, the job that is that you want to apply to like for example this one is just two connects there are jobs that will need six connects that means once you apply to a job that needs six connects let's say you have 80 connects you're going to take out eight six connects out of your 80 connects and you'll be left with 72 connects so um, for a start or as a beginner, I always, I always advise you to try to apply to jobs that require uh, two connects or less, or, at le or let's just say four or less, uh, so that you have a chance of applying to more jobs with the connects, with the few connects that you have. Okay, so let's go back. Let me just show you something real quick. So let's just take a look at this job. Okay. This is a job that we want to apply to. You can see that this job needs um, someone with an entry level skill like you. And you can see the budget for this particular job. This is how much the person is willing to pay, which is $12. And you can see when the job was posted, which is two hours ago. And you can see the number of people who have applied to the job, which is less than five persons. Just like that is the best job you can apply to as a new freelancer. You can see that the payment is verified that means you are sure that this person will be able to pay you that means they have worked with freelancers they have hired uh, they have worked with freelancers already on the platform and they have paid the freelancer so that's why it's written payment verified you can see where the customer is from which is from kenya right you can go ahead and read the job classify solid waste management methods already in use and discuss ways you would suggest to improve them at least one page APA format style of writing to be submitted within 48, 48 hours. So you can go through the job. If you can do the job, then great. Let's click, go back again to the job. And you can see right here, it says worldwide. Any freelancer from any part of the world can apply to this job, right? Classify, read again, take your time and read the job requirements. 
classify solid waste management methods already in use and discuss ways you would suggest to improve them at least one page APA format style of writing to be submitted within 48 hours great you can see the price again so we can see the about the clients this is the clients is from Kenya Nairobi right and right now, if you come down here, you're going to see the activity on this job. That is the number of proposals, which is less than five people have applied for the job. You can see the last time the clients viewed the job, um, viewed this this on the for this job. So this is ten minutes ago. So you can go ahead and click and register. Now to apply for the job, you're going to see submit a proposal. Click on submit a proposal. Okay, so you're going to see proposal settings. The first one is proposed with a specialized profile, which is your general profile, which is good. And they show you that this pro this proposal requires two connects. So you see that when you submit the proposal, you have um, 140 connects remaining. That means, remember I showed you that I have 142 connects. So once I submit the proposal, I'll have 140 connects. So the job details, which is this, Microsoft Office expert and transcription is needed, classified solid waste management method, blah, blah, blah. So, sorry for that. Classified solid waste management methods already in use and discuss ways you would suggest to improve them. At least one page, APA format, style of writing. And it's entry level. The price is fixed price, less than a month, right? Then come here, you're going to see the client's budget, which is $12. And you can go into, you're going to see the terms. What is the full amount you would like to bid for? Now, this is you can bid for this job because, of course, it's a competition. So it's a bidding. You need to bid for the job, uh, which is another way you can say compete for the job. So if you want to reduce the price, let's say, you are willing to do this work for less than twelve dollars. That is a client's budget. You can put ten dollars right here, and let's say we we'll put zero. Great. So your bidding. Okay, upwork fee is going to be minus two dollars. That means you are going to receive eight dollars remember upwork is going to collect two percent of the money that, of the amount that you're going to be paid that is your fee upwork collects two percent uh of uh of your amount so that is upwork's fee and you're going to be receiving eight dollars come here you can choose how long will this project last remember the project is going to take less than a month so come here and Click on this arrow, choose less than a month. Scroll down again. Now, this is where you're going to attach your cover letter. Write down your cover letter. And this is where you're going to upload like a portfolio. I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio. A sample portfolio is basically um, example of what you have, or example of the, uh, uh, of the jobs that you have done relating to this to this same type of job that you are applying to so you're going to show any transcription jobs that you have worked with any microsoft word document that you have done you can just upload it right here and you paste it or you can just upload your portfolio pdf format upload it right here and write down your cover letter so i'm going to show you how to write down a cover letter later on now once you have done that you can come here it says boost your proposal you can boost your proposal so this is another um this is a settings that Oppo just released so it's, you can boost your proposal in case you want your proposal to go higher or to show up in um to show up higher than the other freelancers then you can use you can add another connect you can come here at like this four connects or you can reduce your connect something like that if from three upwards so you can add connects that you want to use as you see as i'm adding it's 136 connects left right so but no i don't like to use this one because we are trying to we are trying to use our connects wisely 
So you can boost your proposal so that it will appear on the top, right? On the top so that the clients will be able to see your own proposal ahead uh, um, before the other freelancers. I don't know if it makes sense. You can boost your proposal so that the clients will see yours and eventually click on your profile so that they can and so that you have a higher chance of actually getting an interview with the clients so you can boost your proposal by adding your by adding your connects so instead of two connects you can use five connects right so but just again i don't like to use i don't like to we just need to be selfish especially especially if you don't have a lot of connects then you can click send for two connects right if you add it if you want to add now let me quickly show you live how i apply to different jobs on upwork so once i log into my upwork account i land on my dashboard and the first thing i do is to go down and check out the different jobs that upwork has suggested for me so i can just browse through the different uh, ma job matches and go through the most recent jobs that have been posted and if i see a job that i can do then i can just apply to the different jobs but what i always check uh for when i'm looking for a job is the first thing is the level of experience and i go ahead to look at the payment verification and of course most importantly the number of proposals there's a number of people who have applied to that same job and then once i've done that if i don't see any job that i want to that i'm interested in or uh, on the suggested list i can go to the search i can just go to the search icon and then I come on the search bar and then I just type in a keyword. So, so I'm looking for a blog writing type of job. So once I click on blog, I just go click on the search and then I can just check it. Again, what I'm looking for is the number of proposals, the payment verification. And then I'm looking at the entry. That is the level of experience that's needed for this same job. And of course, when the job was posted because you don't want to go and apply to a job where that was posted like months ago so for example like this one the job was posted just seven minutes ago and adult content writer but i'm not interested in writing adult stuff so that job is not for me go to the next one content writer for a website so we can click on this one and apply to the job Great. So once you click on the job, you can just go through everything. It says I'm looking for a content writer, product description writer for my website and the niche luggage. And then you can just go through it. Make sure you go through the entire job description and then scroll down to see the activity. So not much people, not many people have applied for the job already. So you can just go down and look at the number of connects. And it requires just four connects. Click on submit a proposal. And then I just scroll down, content writer for writing a website, scroll down again. And this is where you can choose how you want to be paid. You want to be paid by milestones. It means the project will be divided into smaller segments. That means once you do probably you're writing one blog post, they pay you. The next blog post, they pay you. So you'll be in segments, right? So that's what milestones mean. For by project, if you choose by project, that means after you have done the project, that's when they're going to pay you. So we can just leave it at, uh, I'm just going to choose by projects and I'm going to leave the same price. You can change the price. The bid, the actual price here is $203. I'm just going to leave one, let's say 150. So that is how much I'm willing to do the job for. Great. How long is this project going to take? Let's scroll up and check one to three months. So come here and click one to three months. Then scroll down. So this is where we're going to paste in our cover letter. A cover letter is very much important. So I've already written down a cover letter, but I'm going to show you the formats of writing a cover letter to apply for a job on Upwork. Great. So this is a cover letter that I have already written down. So this is basically what I always come as a I use as a reference every time I want to write a cover letter. So the first thing of the first part of writing a cover letter is by greeting, which is the hi right here. I've read your okay. 
let's zoom this a bit let's say 125 Wait. okay so i've read your job description and i'm confident i could provide you with these services as your job post aligns perfectly with my skills and experience as an administrative virtual assistant blogger and content writer so i'm going to remove this administrative okay let's just leave administrative it doesn't matter so it shows the second part the first part is greetings and the second part is like letting the client know that you have read through the job description and knows exactly what they are looking for right then the third part is i'm a professional you talk about your professional career uh your experience in the field i'm a professional content writer blogger virtual assistant uh, with over two years of experience, I also have a YouTube channel and a blog where I share my knowledge in tech productivity, computer software reviews, online businesses, and other business-related topics. Here is what I can bring to your project. So this is where the skills. Remember when we're writing the bio description, I explained to you, noting down the skills of the particular services that you're providing on the platform is very, very important. So you need to write down everything that has to do with the skills like you need to make yourself give make yourself uh, like sell yourself on your on your upwork on your bio and even on your cover letter is very important so you can see engaging and fun to read articles 100 percent on plagiarized unique contents seo rich content grammar and error free articles well researched keyword inclusive article like this is basically everything that has to do with blogging they always need seo rich content on uh Content that is not plagiarized is unplagiarized. Content that is easy to read and fun, engaging, right? So I've written down mostly everything that has I have to do my research when it has to do with blogging. So you really need to do research um, on the type of skills that you want to uh, you want to sell on the platform. Next is I go down to say twenty four seven communication where you always be aware of the project status. Uh, with constant updates. So I always update you. And the, la the next one is most importantly, someone who cares about helping you succeed and brings value to your business. So we'll go ahead and I, this is where I let them know that I have attached my portfolio. And if you, I'm going to show you how to actually build a portfolio. I'm going to leave a link. I've created a portfolio for you. I'm going to leave a link so that you can, all you have to do now is, all you have to do with the, uh, with the portfolio, just uh, edit it and put whatever skills you want to do. So I'm going to show you later on as we move further in the video tutorial. Now, the last one is, if you like, you can schedule a quick 10 to 15 minutes Zoom call with me to ensure that I'll be the perfect fit to further discuss your project with me. So this is a call to action. So uh, this is just something that to let the client know that I'm willing to have a quick Zoom meeting with the client so that we can discuss on the project, so that the clients can discuss with me, so that they can be sure that I'll be perfect match for their project. I'll be um, the best freelancer for the project. So it's just to make the clients get, let the clients know that you're capable, you're willing to get to hop on a meeting or on a Zoom meeting call with them. So it's just an uh, assurance. So look, I'm looking forward to hearing more about your exciting project. Best regards, Clarice. So that's basically how you write a a cover letter. It's just fun, quick to the point, just straight to the point. Again, you greet the clients, let the clients know you have read through the job description, which is very important because there are a lot of freelancers who never read through the entire job description. So that's like a bonus when you write this. And then... um this part like that to write this part you need to go through the job entire job description so the next one is the like talk about your professional experience and then you go ahead and tell to tell the clients what you can how you can help them with their projects and then we go ahead to tell them that we have attached our portfolio and then give them a call to action so once you have that you can just copy this and paste it So I'm going to leave a link of this cover letter so that you can download it, edit it, and then like use it as reference every time you want to um, send in a job application. 
Okay, so let's go back to our proposal. The next step is, so we have already have our cover letter in here. The next step is to answer this question. There are times when clients will always ask questions, so you need to answer them. How do you rate your US writing style? Yeah, something like that. And then we come down. So this is where we're going to attach our portfolio. So I've created a portfolio. I use Canva to create this portfolio. This is basically like a, a an A4 like design. I just placed something uh, a um a background image and then I write I wrote the text on top and I place a link. When they click on this link, it's going to take them directly to my portfolio. I'm also going to leave the link of a portfolio design I created so that you can just, all you have to do is to just edit it. So no, you don't have to do much. So this is a portfolio. So this is a portfolio right here. You can just send it to the client. So he has everything. He has your he has my blog post that I've written down, my my YouTube videos, my YouTube channel, TikTok channel, Instagram. So these are blog posts. I can click anywhere and it takes me to a blog post. So once the client clicks, is it's going to take them to the blog post and they can just read it. So that is it. Take them to my website and they can just go through the blog posts. So that is a portfolio. Let's go back. So I'm just going to click. And okay, so this is where I'm going to click on upload to upload my portfolio. I'm just going to go back and look at the portfolio. This is a PDF where, uh, okay, this is my portfolio. Me remember, it should be uh, in the PDF format. And then you can add in any sample work you have done. And just click and add it in the sample work. But everything is on my portfolio, so there's no need to add in anything. So once I'm done with that, I come down here. If I want to boost my proposal, I can just add the number of connects. But I'm not going to add anything. So I'll just click on send for four connects. Okay, so this is where it takes me to the Upwork escrow. That's the escrow protection for Upwork. So the Upwork escrow is basically like service protection for you and the clients. Where Upwork acts like the middleman. So what it means is if the client decides to work with you, then before you even start the job, the client is, will need to send payments, will need to pay through Upwork. And Upwork is not going to pay you immediately. They're going to withhold the payment until after you have completed the job. And then the clients, uh, uh, once they want to complete the job and then the clients approve, sends an approval to show that yes, you have completed the job and the client is happy. That is when Upwork can transfer the money to you. They can send the money to your Upwork, to your Payoneer account. So that is what the escrow protection means. So escrow is basically to ensure that you and the clients, you are both happy. That is, you get paid for your work and the clients get the work you agreed to do. So that is what escrow is all about. So, so before you even start working with the clients, the clients will need to sign a contract on Upwork and before they sign, before the client signs a contract on, on Upwork, they will need to pay for your services. That is before you can even start working. There are some clients that will need you to do like a sample work. That is totally different. A sample work is totally different from when you actually start doing the, uh, the, the actual work. So it's, the clients might require you to do some sample work to show that you're capable of doing their project. So it's also okay. 
um but before you actually start working the actual work you need to sign a contract on upwork and that is where the escrow protection comes in where uh, upwork is going to um let the clients pay before they sign the contract with you and then upwork is going to withhold the money for you until you are done with the with the job and the client is happy with the end result and before upwork can transfer the money to your pioneer account so once you're here just click on the yes i understand and click continue to submit so once you have submitted your proposal then you're going to see this blue tick which says your proposal was submitted then you can just wait for the clients and if you get interviewed if the clients go through your proposal and the uh, your proposal and they like you they're going to send you a message and you're going to receive the message in your inbox and you can just open up your or you can come to upwork directly and open up messages and you're going to see the the, the messages and you can start chatting with your clients so you always once you submit proposals on upwork you need to constantly um visit the website to check if the clients have sent back sent you any messages so for example this is a proposal i sent and i actually got the message from the clients but i came in late right so the client got another freelancer because i was a bit busy the client got another freelancer so you need to always be constant on the platform make sure that you are checking your emails to see if a client have responded to your job proposal so that is basically how you can submit a job proposal to a client on Upwork. So let me quickly show you how I created my portfolio. Now to create a portfolio, I actually use Canva. Canva is a free design software. You just need to sign in with your email address and you can start using this tool for free. It's totally free. And then once you're here, you can just go to the set, go to the search bar and type in, you can just type in websites. Because the portfolio is basically a website, right? Just a website. Once you type in website, you can just go through, pick a template, choose any template that you want. For example, let's say we choose this template. Great. So now you can just edit it, change the text, change the images, adding any um, graphics that you want to add, adding anything, and that is it. So this is a portfolio um, template. You can just edit it, and then that's all. You can just start using it. So I'm going to leave a link of my own, uh, of a sample portfolio that I created, so that you can just use it rather so than this is how it looks. Let's go to present full screen. Okay. So this is how it looks. It goes about me. You can change the image, write your name, change the text. You can change anything, edit anything on this particular uh, um, portfolio. You can just change your services, change, I mean, everything. That's your services, the skills, write your skills. Write down your skills right here. Release them down give a little brief description of the skill so let me just do like an example for example you can give down let's say your skill as block uh, as maybe content writer that's your skill right you can write down brief description what type of um content writing do you do do you write you can write blog posts um blog editing proofreading so those are the services that you can write that's just a description of the services that you're offering right you can write this next one can be microsoft word expert you can write down what do you do what said what do you know about microsoft word uh microsoft word so you can write down um formatting uh maybe um creating fillable forms designing anything that has to do with your services as a microsoft word expert so i hope you get what i what i mean so you need once you're listing down your services or the skills that you have Take it. Take your time and go through. Do research on the the skill set that is required for that particular the, the the different skills that is required for that for that particular skill set, right? So that is how that's what it means. Oops. So these are your services area. 
and you have so for your portfolio you can just put down the screenshot of the sample works that you have done and then you put place a link that will take the clients directly to the to the to the work so for example let's say you have written down a blog post so you can just write put the image of the blog post the graphics of the blog post here and then put a link that will direct them to the blog post and then the next one is projector these are still um sample portfolio areas so these are client testimonials if you don't have clients like client testimonials you must not have a client test a real client testimonials you can just maybe ask a friend to write down something for you about the services they are providing you can go to um ask a friend or probably you can generate your own right the, the aim here is for us to look for clients to make the money so if you have to lie you have to lie i hope you get what i mean <laughs> okay so then the last page is a contact me page so that is it you write put in your email address put your instagram handle your facebook handle so you need to be present on you need to actually create a brand on on the online space so that is it a brand that actually have to sell yourself so i'm going to leave the link of this portfolio in the description box where you can just download it and edit it and it will take you here it'll just take you here where you can just change any text i'm just going to leave the link it will take you directly to this canva you can just edit anything you can edit the picture let's look for a picture here let's say this one right Oops. Okay, this one was you can go to ungroup it. And then you can just change the picture. Let's see this one right that is it and then you're left with this great you can edit even the the text you can edit anything on this particular on these pages you can edit anything so that is how you can create your own portfolio okay so that is how you can create your own portfolio you can write your cover letter and you can send it to uh use it to apply to different jobs on the platform now the, the assignment for today will be for you to actually write down a cover letter look for any job on the platform and then write down a cover letter sent to me and i'm going to review it then try to edit a portfolio and send to me so that can edit it we can i can review it and we see what we can do as for the services just like i said Take a do research on the type of services that you would like to provide on the platform. If you want to learn Microsoft Word, the Microsoft Word skills, transcription skills, data entry, which is typing, those are easy skills that you can learn, make money out of it, content writing. So, so write down these different skills on your um, services area, right? And then write just a brief description of the services right here. For example, so the assignment for today is for you to write down a cover letter for the particular services that you like to apply for just look for a job on the platform write down a dummy cover letter and send to me and then go through the portfolio edit it and then send to me so that, so that i can review it and then send you my own feedback great right?